Denver International Airport is a gateway. The world comes to Denver and Denver goes out into the world. Qué belleza, arte. Colores, animales, qué bonita. It's got a lot of hidden pieces to it. Every time I look at it, I find something I didn't notice before. I think it's so exciting that the Vochol is here on exhibit at the Denver International Airport. A Vochol is sort of a combination of two words. Vochol is the nickname for the VW Beetle in Mexico, and Huichol is the indigenous group that is responsible for the incredibly beautiful beadwork that's on the VW. And the idea was is to marry a pop cultural icon, everybody recognizes the VW Beetle, right? To take that concept and merge it with the traditional craft to create something that is both very contemporary and very ancient. They could have chosen many different subjects for these beads to be placed on, but in Mexico, the Volkswagen Beetle has a you know, sort of special place in their hearts. There's a lot of beetles down there. And in fact, after the old style of beetle, like this one stopped being produced, in Mexico, they kept making them. This is something that you can see everywhere around the country. And so when they're thinking of an automobile that sort of resonates in their culture, that was the first thing that came to mind. It's unlike anything else that you might ever get to see. It's a 1990 Volkswagen Bug. Over a course of seven months, it was being created. 9,000 total hours of work went into this. And there's 2,277,000 beads on this Volkswagen Beetle. They use tweezers and pick up each one of these individual beads, which are considered seed beads. They're very, very small. They hand beaded them directly to the surface using a resin-based glue. And the interior of the VW Bug also has a lot of beadwork, as well as yarn that's been sewn directly into the upholstery to continue that pattern. The Huichol are descendants of the Aztecs in Mexico. They number about 18,000, and they're found predominantly in the mountainous regions of the states of Jalisco and Nayarit, which are in the west central part of Mexico. They're very, very well known for this incredible beadwork and yarn work as well. Eight of these artists have been brought together by the Museo de Arte Popular in Mexico City to completely cover an entire automobile. And they created a series of patterns that are related to their traditional culture. Each one of the little images that you see, the little details, has a very specific cultural resonance for them in their traditional mythologies. They believe very, very strongly in the role that man has in nature and in the spiritual world as well. And so the beadwork and the yarn work really provides the Huichol with this amazing opportunity to communicate that incredible relationship that they have to us, to all the people of the world. We're a really unique venue on this virtual world tour in that we're the only airport that it's going to stop at. Having it in an airport space, especially like this, the Great Hall, where it's accessible to the public, with or without a boarding pass, we're really excited to be able to share this with the public. There's such a unique blend of people passing through this facility, and I think it gives all of those individuals this opportunity to really appreciate the culture and the art of Mexico. We're the only sort of non-traditional venue for the Vochol, and the reason is we have a very strong art and culture program here. We recognize that Denver International Airport is a civic space and has the type of cultural needs that any town square has, and part of that is having that vibrant cultural exchange. And I think it really helps people to dig a little bit deeper and understand not only the culture, but the incredible art of Mexico. So this is its last stop in North America before it leaves for a tour of Europe. It's also toured around Mexico and has been at the San Diego Art Museum and the Smithsonian. Denver is an international city and we want to make sure that the exchange goes both ways and that Denver's culture, just like Mexico's culture, is all around the world.